The first phase of the vaccine drive for school children commenced today at three hospitals. Accordingly, children aged between 12 to 19 with comorbidities were inoculated with the Pfizer vaccine at the Lady Ridgeway Hospital for Children and at the Anuradhapura and Kurunagala Teaching Hospitals. Health authorities said that they prioritised this target group as they considered to be at a much higher risk due to their underlying health complications, raising their susceptibility to the virus. Another reason pointed out by health officials was that their health status would place them at a disadvantage when schools reopen. With a positive turnout seen at the programme today, President of the Government Medical Officers Association, Dr. Anuruddha Padeniya, explained the procedures set in place for the program. The process is that when they come here, they have to get registered and they have to fill their parental consent form and then a consultant will have to recommend their vaccination. After that, the vaccine will be given and that will be monitored by an emergency consultant here for a period until they are safe to go home. And once we do that vaccination for children with comorbidities, that will be extend vaccination for the age range between 15 to 19 and then thereafter age range between 12 to 15. Meanwhile, health authorities urge parents not to overcrowd the three hospitals, explaining that there were sufficient quantities of vaccines to go around. Meanwhile, consultant virologist at the Medical Research Institute, Dr. Nadika Janagi, says that school children do not need to be vaccinated for schools to reopen but suggested that the vaccine drive and the reopening of schools must be done simultaneously. ලමයි in the meantime, just as health officials vaccinate school children, the inoculation of people between the age of 20 and 29 is also underway. Health officials say that so far, at least 41% of this age group have already received at least one vaccine dose, while 12.6% among them have been completely immunized. Overall, according to figures released by the Epidemiology Unit, a total of 4,183,520 people have had their first doses administered so far. Of that number, 11,406,358 people have received both. With this being the case, Professor Nilika Malavage of the University of Sri Jayavardhanpura says that what is needed is more momentum in vaccination programs if the world is to look to a future free of the pandemic, but not necessarily the virus. You can get rid of the pandemic despite the virus still being there. A good example is the influenza pandemic that happened in 1918-1919. There are about 50 million died. We don't have an influenza pandemic now, but we still have the virus. And it is not causing a pandemic. That is because there's an immunity to the virus in the population. So the only way we can get rid of this COVID virus pandemic, not the virus, but the pandemic is by having a sufficient amount of immunity in the population. You can do that by two ways. Either let the COVID virus go through the population or you can do it in a better way by vaccinating people and creating immunity. So the second way of vaccinating people and creating immunity would not lead to deaths. Professor Sarah Gilbert who is one of the developers of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. And she said the idea of the whole vaccination program is to convert this COVID virus into something like a common cold causing virus. So for us to work towards that goal, to convert COVID to a situation like that, everybody's cooperation is needed. And how that can be achieved is if sufficient percentage of the population is vaccinated, not only in Sri Lanka, but globally. Punchima Dekin, look on a sack. Sashay Valatavada Sansil Cloco Botolin, Rupia Visakitria.